Eating the banana peel may not sound very appetizing, but it contains twice the amount of nutrients plus additional nutrients that the flesh of the banana doesn't have. Now, what does that really have to do with real estate? Well, it's out of the ordinary and it takes thinking out of the box. Maybe even some bravery, right? Because who knows what that really tastes like. In this housing market where inventory is low and sellers are getting multiple offers, you have to be an out of the box thinker or else you might not be in a house. Buyers are going over asking price in many instances and still not winning the war. Generating leads is becoming increasingly more difficult and competitive. So let's take a look at the demographics here. 54% are homeowners, 37% are unmarried, and the median age in Sacramento, 34. According to the Housing Wire in a recent article, the first time home buyers are skipping their starter home and going right to their longer options, the nicer house right away. Now let's take a look at the local market. While the medium home prices are up a bit, less than 1% over the past six months, rents are up a staggering 7.2%. Annualized, think about it, double digits. Plus the rental inventory is down 7.6%, so it's only creating more demand. What all this indicates to me is that more of the Gen Y and Millennials are gonna be more motivated than any other time to buy, but they aren't necessarily looking for that starter little three 2,000 square foot house. All this means is more difficult job for the real estate professionals and staying in the game. Whether you're representing a seller helping a buyer find a property or trying to generate more listing leads. So think out of the box. Feel free to email or call me if you'd like to get some resources and help in figuring out how to do that. We'd be happy to help. And now for minding your own business. Do you have a Facebook stealth page? Wondering what it is? Well, if you're working on generating more leads by increasing your followers on Facebook, consider having a stealth page. This is a page that you manage that has little to do with your personal or business page. A stealth page should be a theme such as things to do in Folsom, uh, things to do around Sacramento or a DIY home hacks type page. These are pages that are gonna get a lot more likes and followers than your business page because it's things that people are interested in. So here, you should really let your personality show through and have fun with your posts. Make it really super personal and fun. Remember, your followers are people. Always thank them for sharing or responding to their comments and encourage them to post their ideas and thoughts. Start a weekly interactive competition or a puzzle to solve so people get involved and have fun with it. Even though this is considered a stealth page, it doesn't mean you can't link your website and use the call to action features on your Facebook photo. If you need any help or ideas, feel free to call or email us. We'd be happy to help. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. We're always here to help. If you're wondering about a certain product or you need mortgage questions answered or you need your client pre-qualified, we'd love to help. Have a great week.